Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, we're gonna to be going over the Gen Y Torsion Weight Distribution Shank. So this is what our shank is gonna look like installed and hooked up to our weight distribution system. Now, if you're familiar with Gen Y products, they use this hammered powder coated finish on all their products, and I really, really like this powder coat here. Not only does it look nice, it's also super, super durable. It's really gonna do a great job of help protecting that steel underneath from rust and corrosion. Now, this shank, it is one of the more abused items on your trailer here, so you're definitely gonna be hitting your trailer into it, banging your weight distribution system on it. So it definitely is gonna need to hold up through some of that abuse. And that powder coat there does an excellent job keeping this hitch looking nice and new. The main benefit of the Gen Y Torsion weight distribution shank is that it has built-in cushioning. So if you're familiar with torsion axles on the trailer, the same sort of technology is gonna be applied to our shank here. We have built-in rubber dampening mechanism that's gonna help smooth the ride out on our trailer and the felt uh, ride inside our towing vehicle. Now, this does a number of different things. Not only does it make your overall towing experience that much more pleasant, something else it does that not a lot of people understand is by cushioning the ride there, we're gonna be preserving the suspension in our truck as well as our trailer. So we're not gonna be replacing those suspension components from them wearing out as soon because we have that extra built-in dampening here with the shank. Let's go ahead and put all those claims to the test by taking our truck and trailer out to the test course we have here at E-Trailer, which consists of several speed bumps. That way we can truly see how the shock absorption works. All right guys, so we just got done taking our trailer and Gen Y torsion weight distribution shank around e-trailer here at our test course. And I gotta say, I was pretty blown away with how well this thing works. So in regards to compatibility, for the vehicle side, this system here is actually offered with both a two inch shank and a two and a half inch shank. So whether we have the smaller half ton trucks or the larger three quarter and one ton trucks, which now come with the larger receiver tube openings, we're gonna have an option here with the Gen Y system. Now, I do recommend using the solid shank there, not necessarily going to an adapter that's gonna put some wiggle or play in the system and you're not gonna be able to reap the benefits as much. So this particular truck here, this is a three quarter ton. It has the factory two and a half inch receiver tube opening. Therefore, we're utilizing the Gen Y system here with that solid two and a half inch shank. But as said, for some of your smaller half ton trucks, this system is available with a two inch diameter shank as well for the two inch receiver tube. So something else I really like about this system here, it's gonna be in regards to compatibility with the weight distribution system. So as we mentioned, we have a couple different options here based on what trailer hitch size our towing vehicle has but we obviously need to make sure that we're gonna be compatible with the weight distribution system we have because there's quite a few on the market. Well, luckily, the design of the shanks for these weight distribution systems is pretty standardized. Therefore, no matter what distribu weight distribution system you have, you're gonna be able to utilize this torsion shank system here. So it's a great upgrade for an existing system. And I know a lot of other times customers, they upgrade their tow vehicle here their system was originally set up for a two inch shank and now they have a two and a half inch shank. So again, we don't wanna use that adapter because it's gonna create extra play. It'll be a nice option overall to upgrade to the two and a half, allowing you to upgrade the shank that comes with your weight distribution system as well. So in regards to installation, again, because this design is so standardized, it's gonna be pretty much the same no matter what weight distribution system you have. You'll wanna go ahead and refer to the installation instructions of your particular weight distribution system but as far as the shank goes, these holes here are all a standard size as well as the spacing between them and the width here of this mechanism. So everything is gonna be pretty much bolt on no matter which head you have on your weight distribution system. We'll simply remove these two bolts here, remove our old shank, we'll slide it onto the new one and then refer to the instructions for our weight, weight distribution system for proper setup. Now, just for reference here, we're actually using this shank here with the re-straight line weight distribution system. 
and they have a nice little integrated head tilt mechanism built in. So we mentioned a little bit ago about the holes in the side of the shank here. So if you're familiar with weight distribution systems, these are our adjustment holes. And the reason we have multiple is because it's gonna allow us to position the head of the weight distribution system at a height that's gonna be perfect for our tow vehicle here so we can get everything nice and level. Now, another feature this system has that most of your standard weight distribution shanks don't is that they allow for a greater degree of adjustment. It's gonna work great for some of these larger tow vehicles. I mean, trucks today, they're getting taller and taller. Therefore, we're gonna require more drop from our shank here, which this system has. Therefore, it's gonna allow us to tow level. So in regards to weight capacities, there's a couple different options again for this system, depending on the amount of drop we need and the hitch size we need. Well, it actually goes even one step further than that because these systems have different weight capacities. Now, the tongue weight ranges from 1,100 pounds to 2,400 pounds. So pretty much no matter the weight of our trailer, we're gonna have a system that's gonna allow us to utilize that torsion mechanism in its full ability. So another great feature about this system here is that we actually have a built-in tongue weight scale. So if we look on the top of our unit here, you can see we have a green sticker that states the min, the max, as well as a red block on either side of that. And we also have a little white line here. So this is basically how the tongue weight scale works. The white line here is gonna be pretty much the actual weight, the tongue weight of our trailer here. And then we need to make sure that this coincides here with the scale on the range. So basically we want that white line to be within this green block. So if we take a look at the top of the torsion mechanism here, you can see we have two built-in little Zerk fittings here. So these are basically just gonna allow for easy maintenance, make sure we take care of our system here to keep it working properly for years to come. And that's gonna do it today for our look at the Gen Y Torsion Weight Distribution Shank.